Hey, hi you guys. So today you get to make your vehicle choice for the road trip. And that means that there's a couple of things that you need to know. So you'll get this form, it's called the vehicle choice form. It has a link that will take you to the site to choose. You need to know your name, which clearly, hopefully you already know. And you need to put in the vehicle name and then you'll need to know the vehicle miles per gallon. That is very, very important. Um, and I'll explain what that is, the miles per gallon. So that link right here will take us to this page. There's a number of ways to search. The way I have found that is easiest is to look right here and to think about the kind of car that you want. Do you want just a small little car that you're gonna drive and, and get great gas mileage and go? Or do you, you're like, I don't care how much this costs. I am rolling in a luxury car. It's completely up to you, you guys. No hybrid, no plug-in hybrid, no all electric, no diesel, no flex fuel, or no fuel cell. These bottom six cars are off limits. Okay, so let's just take a check in here. I might go in a coupe. I might say a coupe is a two-person car, only has two seats. They're super fun and super cool. Um, here is this little smart car. It's electric. I cannot choose it. Okay. This one is the BMW i8 coupe. It's gas and electricity. I cannot choose it. Gas and electricity? Nope. Can't choose it regular gasoline. My car must take regular gasoline. And so now I'm going to look. I'm looking right here to see the miles per gallon. The combined is the one we want. It's this larger number right here. There's always a city, which means a lot of stop and start where there's a lot of traffic, and then highway where you're going at one speed for a considerable, considerable amount of time. And that means you get better gas mileage. Your gas mileage is best explained by one gallon of gas. How many miles can you go? So in this little Honda Civic, if I just put one gallon of gas in my car, I could go 35 miles. Okay. A typical gas tank holds, I think my Mini holds 13 um, gallons. I think my Volvo holds 17. Let's say that's about 15. And so a typical, like in my car, when I fill it up, I could go about 500 miles because I get about 35 miles to the gallon. Okay. If you want to be the cheapest on this race, you need to choose one with a higher miles per gallon. If you don't care about winning it, all you care about is, um, is rolling in a sweet, sweet car, then choose another car. That's completely fine. Go through here, find all the ones that you want. You're going to need to pull the name of the car, which is right here. So if I was going to take this Honda Civic two-door, I would then come back over to my vehicle name and I would type in oops, and I would type in Honda Civic. This is the not the actual um, form because well wait, let's make it so you can see it. That'll be even better. So here's the actual form. So I would type in right, right here in vehicle name Honda Civic and it was a two door. And for the vehicle miles per gallon, I would come back and I would say, oh, right there, 32, see it right here, I'm picking the combined 32 miles per gallon. And what you guys will notice, this 32 is actually an average between 29 and 36, and you just did a whole lesson on averages. So 32 is the average miles per gallon, 32 MPGs, okay? And then submit it, provided my name was in here, okay? But let's say, 
And as you're going through here, come back. If you get lost in here, you can uh, find car up here and then find a car home. Um, you might want to go in a luxury car. You want to go in a truck. You pick. I will tell you this. The smaller the car, the better the gas mileage. The larger the car, the bigger the engine, the lower the gas mileage. And so it's just a decision that you're going to have to make. Okay? I look forward to seeing the kind of cars that you're going to go in. We'll try and figure out a way to uh, clip your avatar and put it in a car. That would be pretty cool. All right, you guys. Good luck. Happy car shopping. Bye.